to keep up. This guy, this guy's fit. <laughs> there, Jesse, I'll cut him off. Trying to figure this one out myself. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was, and I almost had him until he, you know, he took me by surprise and stuffed this pumpkin on my head. What? Well, what's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. Come on, you guys, think about it. Lucas would have never had the time. That's not exactly much assurance. You two have been constantly running around this mansion with no one watching you. Yeah, for all we know, maybe you're his little accomplice or something. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now, Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside, outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. And you tried to save Lizzie. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Hm. Brave stance. Man, at least you're reasonable. Yeah, unlike some of these people. Fine. Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? That's not happening, unless one of us goes along, too. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay, well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. 
Somehow the white pumpkin was able to escape that room when Lucas chased him into it. We need to figure out how he did that. Sounds like a plan to me. What do you want? You've been pretty aggro on accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Not nearly as suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. Don't go anywhere, Stacy. <sighs> sure. Hmm. Dan, I know that you're innocent, but you're still a suspect, Stampy Cat. Got some questions. Seriously? Where were you when the chase with the white pumpkin was going on? I... I don't want to say. Aw, oh, come on, Stampy. You're just making yourself look more guilty. Where were you? Fine. I was sitting in a corner, humming to myself. It calms me down. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. Uh -huh. Sounds good. secret passage. Well, this looks promising. I wonder what order these need to be in. There we go. Awesome. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. Uh, yeah, that seems right. Oh, wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? Hey, we're gonna prove he's innocent. You'll see. Sure, well, see you back here at quarter to never. Come on, Petra. Thanks for having my back. Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the white pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just, I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the white pumpkin is still running around and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Hey, Petra, I understand, okay? I'm with you. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. I just really needed to get that off my chest. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily those should do just the trick. Yeah. 
You thinking ladder? Yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. Finished yours. Yup. Slowpoke. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. All right, we got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. <sighs> you we make it yeah i just hope this works you think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here with all these secret passageways no i think he's still upstairs we should still be prepared for anything hey do you hear lots and lots of zombies yeah i do i'm starting to smell them too oh ditto gross Zombie noises. What in the world is that? <clears throat> well, some sort of like zombie spawner. Does that mean the white pumpkin actually made the sea of zombies outside? That's what it looks like. This is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. Okay, but where's the loot going from here? Hopefully right to the white pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the, uh... Zombie felt once. If we can get up there, I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petro. We're going climbing. Okay, I think we can jump from here. embarrassing. Thanks, Jesse. No problem. Weird. That almost sounds like... Cats? station. Weird. The 
White Pumpkin must have heard us. Ow! Stampy Cat! Boy, you gave me a fright! What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know. Scared you? You scared us half to death. Stop sneaking around like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if you noticed, but this place is very creepy. Come on, you guys. I can't be the White Pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow, who'd have thought? I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. Well, why didn't you tell anyone? I was scared, okay? People started dying, and then I didn't want them to think that I did it. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? First, we need to figure out who this white pumpkin really is, then we'll figure out what to do from there. I, I suppose that's a better strategy. That looks like a lair door, if I ever saw one. Oh, wow. Very creepy. I would not put this in my top ten places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry, we'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the White Pumpkin's identity. Uh. Petra, did you see this? That's the portal hallway. Yeah, it looks like the White Pumpkin's been there too. Oh no. Here's where everyone's stuff gets collected. <sighs> Those poor people. doing okay? I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty worried about Lucas. If the White Pumpkin isn't down here, he must still be upstairs. And I thought that I was okay because I was numb and feeling no emotions at all. But I'm beginning to suspect it was actually shock. Don't worry, we're gonna crack this wide open. like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. So that's the potion part, but what about the arrows? There's nothing I can craft that can help me. Not yet, anyway. Guessing this chest should have... Oh, yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow, the tender pearls. Sweet, that must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. Legend of the World portals, basic portal theory, portals of you. Wow, they're all about portals. That's pretty obsessive.
Walking Among the Endermen by Soren. Wow, his books sure get around. First Sky City and now here. That chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty kitty, can you scoot out of the way, please? I need to get in the chest. No, bad kitty. Oh, stupid cat. I need something to distract it if I'm gonna get that chest open. Should be able to get some string from those cobwebs. It'll go perfectly with those sticks I found. saw one in the pond that'll be perfect. Jesse. Thanks. Bet that cat will love this. Okay, here, kitty. Get the fishy. There you go. Jeez. Oh, many cats. So many cats. Ugh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. At least I can finally get in here now. It's full of portraits. Loads of them. Oh, I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and... Oh, hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed-out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed-out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay. So who did it? Yes, you figured it out? The White Pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. Oh, man. You're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the white pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a white pumpkin. <laughs> 